What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since we've covered some tweaks here on the channel, so we're going to take a look at some really awesome tweaks on iOS 11. I'll leave the names of every tweak that I mention in this video down in the description. So if you guys want to download and try any of these tweaks out, uh, again, like I said, the names of them are down in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. First up, we got Emoji Port Installer. This is going to bring the iOS 12.1 Emoji to your older device. This is really cool. Let's go into notes here. And as you guys can see, I do have the iOS 12.1 Emoji. So if you have friends that have the you know newer iPhones or that are not jailbroken on the newest firmwares, you can use the iOS 12.1 Emojis with them and everybody else. So definitely really cool. It's a bit of a process to actually um, get this installed. I have a separate tutorial on how to get this, how to get these emojis. Uh, I will leave the video tutorial for emoji port installer um, down in the description. So if you guys want to see how to get the newest emoji, be sure to check out that video. Doc 11 brings the iPhone 10 style dock to older devices. As you guys can see, it has the rounded corners and I think it looks really, really nice. It also gives you the ability to put a fifth icon in your dock. Definitely a really cool tweak. Again, that's dock 11. Another iPhone 10 style tweak for older devices is notch status bar. As you guys can see, it brings the iPhone 10 style status bar to older devices. You got the clock over here on the left. You got your Wi-Fi and your battery on the other side there. Um, there are some settings I do want to cover really quickly just so you guys know how I have mine set up. So if we go ahead and go to notch status bar right here, uh, I do have calibrate turned on and calibrate edges. It makes it look and fit a little bit better on the older uh, iPhone. So definitely a really cool tweak. Again, that's notch status bar. The next two tweaks kind of go hand in hand. And one is called Roman passcode. This has been around for quite a while. So if we bring up our passcode, as you guys can see, instead of having numbers, we have the Roman numerals, which I think looks really, really good. And again, this is a tweak that's been around for a long time. And the other tweak that we're using is called Clean Passcode 11, uh, which removes a couple of buttons and just makes it overall look a lot more clean. So again, those two tweaks kind of just go hand in hand, and I think they look really good together. Again, the first one is Roman Passcode, and the other is Clean Passcode 11. The stock iOS volume HUD has always been an annoyance to me, and I think it's ugly, and it definitely needs an update. But we got a tweak for it. It's called Smart Volume Control 2. So if I go ahead and turn the volume up on my device, as you guys can see at the top there, there is my volume HUD, and I think it looks really, really good. There's a lot of different options to choose from. Let's go ahead and jump into settings, and I'll show you guys all the different stuff you can do with Smart Volume Control 2. As you can see, it actually has an animated icon within settings. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, but there are a different styles. So I have concept. There's also uh, YouTubes, what, WhatsApps, Twitters. Then you have concept two, iOS 11 player, and iOS 11 slider. So these are all a little bit different. If you like the volume HUD that's in YouTube, you can actually have that on your device, which is really cool. Uh, I like using the concept uh, X or concept 10. I think it looks really, really good with just that. Again, that's called Smart Volume Controller 2. Another tweak that I've covered recently is weather animations. And since I did its own tutorial, it's been updated and it works on the springboard now, which is really cool. So you can have animated weather on your springboard and it's based off of the weather applications um, you know, location. So wherever you're located, it'll show the current weather as your background. Uh, you can have just the weather animations, you can use backgrounds. Uh, of course, with this tweak, you can have these weather animations um, on your lock screen as well. I know it's kind of probably, you know, kind of hard to tell. It's just cloudy where I am right now, so there's a bit of clouds towards the top there. They are animated. It's a really cool looking effect. Like when it's snowing, you have the snowflakes and all that. Uh, basically, it's using the weather applications, weather animations. As you can see, it matches the same uh, weather animation that's within the weather app and like I said whatever your current location is that's what it's going to use there are a few different settings for weather animations uh, so let's go ahead and let's back out here weather animations as you guys can see for those of you that watched my standalone tutorial for the tweak it has been updated you have the ability to use it on the springboard you have the ability to use it on the lock screen and then you can remove the stock background and use your own wallpapers which I have enabled as well uh, so definitely a really cool tweak it does require a paid repo 
and that is the super secret repo uh, if you get again if you guys want to see more about this tweak i will leave the video link of the tutorial down in the description the last tweak i got for you guys is called battery color this is a really cool tweak basically what it does is on your battery icon as the battery dies it goes from the normal vibrant green and it gradients through the colors to red so as you guys can see i have kind of uh, about 50 percent battery on my device right now and it's kind of a really light green kind of yellow color uh, like i said it goes through a gradient so it starts out green then it turns kind of you know uh, yellowish green and then it turns into yellow and then that transitions into orange and then once you're down to about 20 percent it'll transition into red so it slowly gradients as your battery dies it's a really cool look um, i wish apple would actually do that with ios i think it looks really really nice uh, very cool tweak again that's called a battery color so there you go guys those are some awesome tweaks that i am currently using on my device on ios 11. again all the information of everything you guys are going to need is down in the description along with other tutorials if you guys want to try out other tweaks that were mentioned in this video be sure to check out those tutorials on how to use them uh, but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.